Loan Depot. Chairman CEO Anthony Shea. You know, Anthony, I was thinking of you guys like you, of course, will obviously closely watch whether this, you know, ignites economic activity. People are more inclined to take out loans. Or you're more inclined to look at their extra wherewithal and, and, and lend to them. How does this affect what you're doing? Hey, Neil, how are you? Very good. Well. What, what do you think of all this? Well, I think the uncertainties got our industry a bit confused. But let's let's keep in mind that the average uh, home price in this country is still well below five hundred thousand dollars. So, this only affects a minority of the current home buyers that are in the market today. You're talking about the the, the limits on deduction for mortgage interest now for new purchases it would be at five hundred thousand rather than a million. But do you fear that 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 whole deduction is on its way out. I, it, you know, the, I remember it wasn't that long ago when we ver- dropped it to a million. I mean, it seems to be going away. Well, you know, who, who knows, right? Yeah. I mean, as, as an industry and, and our company certainly is keeping a close track of it. And certainly if it passes, if it gets reduced or eliminated, uh, the market will react. It will make the necessary adjustments. It, it all comes down to affordability. And that is what is the monthly payment? What is the income? What is the overall income doing for that consumer and household debt? And ultimately, we have to remember, as a renter, there's no deductibility either. Um, you know, it's interesting because uh, I understand the housing industry's concern if you, you lose a special carve out for your mortgage interest deduction or what have you, or people see their their regular deduction doubled that, that they don't have to fine tune it here. They're less inclined, potentially, I guess, uh, to, to look at homes because the write off isn't the draw as much as the net deduction relief they're getting. Uh, but is that overdone? I always wonder if the, the fears of that are overdone. In the housing industry, people still, well, most part, want to own a home. They like the idea of home ownership. It, the, the tax draw isn't quite the draw. It's just people like to own where they live. Well, certainly it's, it's, it's absolutely a nice to have, right? Because at, at the end of the day, the math works out when you sure. have some sort of deduction. But a home is still a home where families grow up, where kids do their homework, where they ride their bikes on the street. So it has a lot more emotional motivation rather than just a tax tax deduction. Now, that said, we we love to have that and keep that. Now, given the fact that so many of your customers then would see their net uh, take home pay rise, obviously, they that more of them, I would imagine, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, would qualify for loans. Maybe even bigger loans would normally be the case. But but what do you think? Well, yes. I mean, in, in, in the current economic development and the fact that the econo- economy is going the right direction, we're seeing lots of activity on first-time home buyers and step-up home buyers. And housing now, it continues to be an inventory issue and the rise of overall housing prices. If you look at the overall average housing prices, it has steadily increased over the last few years. And if you really look at certain pockets, such as California and the coastal cities, it's becoming very difficult for its affordability. Meanwhile, um, you're looking at interest rates. I'm sure you're looking at the possibility very soon uh, hearing of, of, of a new uh, Fed chairman coming in. Uh, do you worry about rates getting prohibitively higher? Everyone seems to be thinking at least another hike coming in December. Um, market rates are another, another thing. You and I have gotten into that. But w- what do you think? Well, this is, this is over three decades for me now. And one thing that I do know is that I'm always wrong predicting the future. Um, you know, we, 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 need to, we need to understand that uh, it's, 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 it's going to go up and it's going to adjust according to you know, all types of different economic environments and, and factors. Uh, but you know, going ahead uh, on a steady basis, there's always the affordability factor that's really important. And folks are still going to need housing over a period of time. All right. We'll watch closely. Anthony, say thank you very much. The Lone Depot chairman and CEO.